Hi, Andrea Klassen here with another HIIT workout. So today we have timed HIIT workout. We're gonna do 45 seconds of work followed by 15 seconds of rest. And we're gonna do these three rounds. We have about 10 moves and we're gonna finish with a three minute finisher at the end. All right, so let's get started by warming up. We're gonna go ahead, start with the back of our mats, squatting down, rolling on up. The next squat down, I want you to go ahead, walk those hands out to a high plank. Start by taking that left hand to the outside of that, or left foot to the outside of the left hand, open the left arm to the sky, back, push back down dog. Flow through to that high plank, right foot to the outside of the right hand, open the right arm to the sky, placing it down high plank, stepping it back, down dog. And we're gonna go ahead and do that one more time, high plank, left foot to the outside of the left hand, opening it up with that twist, stepping it back, down dog, right foot to the outside of the right hand, opening it up, and then back to that down dog. Once you're in that down dog, we're gonna go ahead and pedal out those heels. And then we're gonna go ahead and walk our hands back towards our feet, sinking those hips down in that nice low squat, hanging out here for just a little bit. Maybe you wanna take that right hand to the floor, open the left arm in a little twist, and then other side, opening up through that spine, hanging out here just a little bit more. Heels are down if you can, chest is lifted. And then go ahead and stand on up. All right, we're gonna take it into a little hamstring curl, waking up those legs. So. Now moving into the quads, which is the front part of our legs, pulling those shoulders down and back. Staying here for three, for two, for one. All right, we're gonna go ahead now, squat it out, stand up to the toes. Now getting into those ankles, squats up to the toes. Three more, two, and last one. Good. Now we're gonna go ahead and step back, right foot stepping back. We're gonna go ahead and take a little gentle twist over that left knee. And then back to center. Left leg goes back, taking a twist over that right side. Back to center. One more time each side. Twisting. Center, last time. And center. We're gonna go ahead now taking it up. If you wanna stay low impact, you're gonna stay here with your butt kicks. If you wanna take it up for a higher impact, you're gonna go ahead and just side to side, kicking the butt, loosening up the quads once more. Staying in this narrow stance, or maybe start to take it a little bit wider. So side to side, like you're running through tires. For three, for two, for one. All right, we're just gonna go ahead and get started. So I have my timer over here. I have my moves right here. Let's try and move this out of the camera angle. You know, do the best we can here. 45 seconds on, resting for 15. Um, are we ready? Grabbing weights. If you have some, I have my 10, so you can have whatever weights you have at home. Um, we will not need weights for the first move. We're gonna start with a diagonal forward lunge. So we're gonna lunge up to the left, and then up to the right in a diagonal, and then two jumping jacks. Modification is tap outs. So it'll be left lunge, right lunge, two jacks, tapping out or jumping. All right, that's our first move. Are we ready? Let's. Start. So we're going to diagonal to that left, center, right, center, and jack it out. Repeat. Left and right and jack. So this is a nice little warm-up move. Make sure when you're doing it, though, you're pivoting your toes to face the direction that you're going. So your knees should always face the same direction as your toes. So just making sure you're pivoting, especially if you're on... Um, carpet because sometimes your feet can get stuck if you have tennis shoes on or if you're on hardwood or your yoga mat make sure those toes pivot we got five seconds then we're gonna have a 15 second break and rest go ahead and grab your dumbbells I'll explain the move really quick we're gonna do two squats followed by two bicep curls so you're basically just gonna be doing squat squat curl curl and hit it Two squats, one, two, followed by two bicep curls. And you're gonna keep repeating that. One, two, and one, and two. So as we're going, making sure you're paying attention to form. Because what can happen is we start to throw our arms up and we go really fast with those curls. Keep it slow and controlled. We wanna make sure we're working those muscles 
and we can feel that burn. If you have heavier weights and you think it starts to feel a little light, go ahead and grab those heavier weights. You want to be able to feel a little muscle burn. We're almost there. We got about five seconds. Then you have a 15 second break in two and rest. Next move, two rear delts. So we're going to go one, two, followed by renegade rows. We're going to hit the floor and we're going to row one, two. All right. I'll work through the form in a second, but go ahead and get started. One, two, popping it down to the floor, high plank, alternating rowing one side and then the other. Step it back up. You got your two rear delts. You're making a small W with those rear delts. Hands down, stepping it back. Hips are staying level when we're doing those renegade rows. Step those feet under. When you stand, make sure you're pushing through those glutes so you're not hitting that low back. So alternating rows, stepping it up, making sure those heels are down, pushing through the heels as we stand. We're almost there. Alternating row, row, up, and then we got our two, and then we have our rest. Resting here. Next one, you can put the dumbbells down and go to the floor. We have T push-ups from your toes or from your knees. You're going to go ahead and three, two, and one. Push up with me. Open the left arm to the sky. Push up again and right arm to the sky. This is what we have. The whole 45 seconds, alternating T-arm push-ups. Again, you can do this from your toes. You can do it to the wall. So you can also do this move on the wall. You decide where you're at, making sure those elbows are going back at 45 degrees. If you want, you can always pop to your toes if you're doing the push-up from your knees when you do your rotation. So you can do your push-up, come up to your high plank, and rotate as well. So you get to decide because this is your workout, where you're at today. We got five seconds, and then we have our rest. Three, two, and one, rest. Moving your weights out of the way, I'm gonna move mine out of the way. We got side lunge hops. So we're gonna side lunge over, up, and switch. Side lunge, and switch. Or just step, and switch. And hit it. So we're gonna side lunge to the side, hop switch, or step switch. So your choice. Low impact, you'll step switch. High impact is a hop, side to side. Again, chest stays lifted, pushing your weight back to your heels. So glutes are working, and smile on your face. We're halfway with this one. So this is about, well, we have one more that's also a pretty heavy cardio move besides the finisher. 15 seconds, so get the heart rate up here the best you can. We're going to be on the floor next with one dumbbell in five. You'll get a rest and rest. Grab your dumbbell, just one, and we're going to do a crunch to an overhead tricep. So you'll crunch keeping that weight above your head and then you'll tricep in three, two, and one. Arms start straight, laying down, crunch it up, overhead tricep, back down. Crunch, tricep, elbows stay pinned in, making sure you're exhaling as you come up in that crunch. So once more, if you need heavier weight or lighter weight, exchange that weight. So you wanna feel it in the backs of those arms. You wanna make sure the back is staying nice and flat when you do that triceps. Don't round through that spine when you pull that weight overhead. We're going to stay on the floor for the next move. we got five seconds with this one. Then you're staying down. Three, two, and rest. Flipping over. No weight needed. Coming into our high plank. We're going to do up-down planks followed by two plank jacks. We're going to do two up-downs followed by two plank jacks. In three, two, and one. So elbow, elbow, hand, hand, elbow, elbow, hand, hand. Hold that high plank, jack it out for two. And repeat, elbow, elbow, hand, hand. Alternating which arm is going down first each time. I'll show you the modification if you need for those plank jacks. You can always tap, 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 or jump it out. Again, you decide. You can always do your up-downs from your knees as well. So if you need to do those up-down planks from your knees, it will look like this. Still working those arms. Jack and jack. Last one. Three, two, and rest. Stand it on up. You're gonna need some wall space for the last move. Wall sit with a shoulder press. So make
So you decide where you're at. 30 seconds to go, because you'll see the isometric holds, you really start to feel things more. Especially coming off those up-down planks, your shoulders might be telling you, oh yeah, I feel that. 15 seconds, and then we're back to the beginning for round two. Last 10. We're doing well, we got five to go. Two, and one, weights down. Putting the weights off to the side, in 10 seconds, we're back to the diagonal lunges, followed by the two jumping jacks. Catching the breath, grabbing water if you need. In three, two, and one, diagonal forward lunge, center, other side. And now we got our two jacks. Jacks or tap outs, you decide where you're at, but keep it up. I might have to move my weights, I just feel them at my heels when I'm doing my jumping jacks. Make sure I don't sprain an ankle. So make sure your space is clear for these moves, especially with this one, because we are traveling a little bit. So again, we're gonna do all these moves three times, and we're on round two of three. So kind of seeing where your energy is, maybe you can pick it up, maybe you wanna stay with me. So you decide, you go, 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 or you just chill out, or you just keep moving. Go ahead and rest here, grab your weights. Two squats with those two bicep curls is coming up next. So that's just where we squat for two, stand and curl for two. In three, two, and hit it. Two squats, and then we'll stand and curl for two. Good, repeating again. Two squats, and then stand and curl. So this is kind of a nice little break, <laughs> or I think of this, we always have those moves where it's like, ah, oh, this is kind of our break move. So for me, this is my break move. Catch my breath. My weight's not too heavy because I usually don't like to record with super heavy weights. So that way I can make it through the workout and try to be somewhat not too out of breath. This is why when people film, they have people with them. So then if you're talking, you can point out what other people are doing. Oh, last two and rest. We're back to those rear delts to that renegade row. So this is one where we're rear delt, rear delt, half to the floor, row and row. In five, in three, two, and go ahead, two rear delts, out to the side, out to the side, popping it down for those renegade rows, alternating sides. You know what? If you don't have weights where you can put your weights down like I just did, Go ahead and go to your renegade row or alternate row and row standing. So you can decide if you don't like to get down to the floor for those renegade rows, just stay standing and do an alternating bent over row. There's always modifications, so this workout can be accessible for you. So it doesn't matter if you come to the floor or if you stay standing, we're still working those back muscles. And I just wanna make sure that lower back is nice and strong. So that's why I'm really emphasizing Standing up, heels are down, and then we come up. And go ahead and rest. Back to the floor though. We have our T push-ups. So alternating your push-up to the T. I'm gonna show you on the wall in case someone needs that modification quick. In three, two, back to your T push-ups of your choice. Go ahead, wall, it's gonna look like this. Wall, open, push-up, and open. Notice on the wall, my hands are chest height. So I am keeping my hands at chest height, still doing my alternating. So same thing on the floor. So you're doing your push-up, and then you're rolling through, push-up, and rolling through. So making sure your core is staying nice and strong, and you're breathing as you're pushing up. Keep going, I gotta move my mat back. The wood floor is hard on the knees. I did a few, but don't want to hurt my knee. And we'll rest here. Back up, side lunges, hops. Make sure the weights are out of the way. I got to move mine up and out. Side lunge, hops, or your side lunge steps in three, two, and one. So we lunge over, hop it up. I just went the wrong way. Lunge to your right, hop center, lunge away from the middle. As soon as I did it, I knew I messed up. Lunge away, step together, lunge away. 
So again, you can either step and you don't have to hop or add that hop. You can add a really big hop and down towards the floor, keep it middle, keep it low. I really like it when people listen to their bodies. So I want you to listen in. Tune in, what's your body saying it needs today? Last 10, last five, I would, last three, last two, and rest down to the floor, grabbing your one weight. We got our crunch to that tricep. So hitting the floor. I was trying to find the mat so you could easily see me. Still haven't found that spot yet, but we're trying. Three, two, and one. Crunching back, crunch up, triceps at the top. Arms will stay extended the whole time if possible. So try to keep those arms straight when we're doing those crunches. And tricep, good. Exhaling as you come up to make sure we're connected to the breath. And again, low belly is brought in when we're doing that tricep overhead. We're looking good. We got 15 to go. And then we will stay on the floor. We have those up down planks followed by those plank jacks. So we got three seconds to go. And the rest. Coming down now, up down plank for two, followed by those two plank jacks. In five seconds. Three, two, and a one. And so elbow, elbow, alternating sides, high plank for your plank jacks. You can always tap the plank jacks out. And you can always be on your knees for your up down planks. So you decide. What variation is for you? Hopefully you know that's my jam by now. I say it a lot, but I do believe in it. Everyone has their threshold and every day is different. So make sure you're tuning into your body today. Last 15, whether you have higher energy, lower energy, a headache, whatever. We're almost there. Two, and rest. Standing on up, we got our wall sit coming up next. In 10 seconds, I'm gonna have to restart the timer. So I'm gonna cue you so I can make sure I can still read it. Wall sit with your shoulder press. In two, and one, hit it. Wall sit, shoulder press. I'm gonna make sure that we get that timer going. Last time with the second time through. And then what do you know? We're gonna be on our last time already. I thought today's went fast. <sighs> See, listening to my body, my shoulders are like, no, no, no. I also know I'm recording <laughs> another video after this, so I gotta have a little something to take. I actually might record two more videos after this. <sighs> Trying to get ahead of these weekly videos, because <laughs> recording them each week, when it starts to get nicer out, it's harder for me to want to stay in. Last five. And I don't have someone to record me every week. Three, two, and rest. So just trying to make it all work. So I want to keep giving you some workouts, some stuff for you to do at home with minimal equipment and still getting a nice workout. Into diagonal lunges, go ahead. Lunge to the left diagonal, lunge to the right diagonal. Your two jacks. Last time through this, and we will finish with a three minute finisher at the end. Because the one thing, I mean, I would love, let me know what you think, but working out at home can be a lot trickier in terms of making it a long workout. I know for myself, I really, when it's like above 45 minutes, I'm like, whoo, that's, that's a chunk of time. But if it's around 20 to 30, it seems more doable. And I might even do two 20 minute workouts over one 40 minute workout. So it's all about the psychology of what's gonna, what's gonna get you going. And rest. Two squats, two bicep curls coming up next. Grabbing those weights. I love the psychology. And hit it, two squats. I was a psych major and two curls and a, a sports and exercise science. Um, Degree. So I have psychology and sports and exercise science double major. 
and I minored in coaching and religion. So everything that I love to do now, I studied that in college. I think that's kind of cool. Looking back, that young, young Andrea knew. So that's why I love the psychology so much of working out and you know why we do what we do, why we don't do what we do, or we know it's good for us. So I really like to geek out on that. So hence why I'm noticing when I put longer videos up that people don't always do them. And I'm rest. Rear delts to the renegade rows. But the shorter ones seem to get people in the door and you might stay with them a little bit longer. So that's, that's my observations thus far. In three, two, and one. Rear delts. So rear delt for two. Down for the floor for your renegade rows. Or staying up for your bent over rows. Just making sure again those heels are placed down and we're pushing through those glutes as we stand. You can always jump those feet in for that renegade row after your renegade rows. Just making sure your back stays nice and strong. So I'm really all about protecting that back, using those glutes. And I find you can get usually in a really good position by stepping it up once you nail that spot on the floor. And it feels really good, like it's a little mini squat there or it should feel like a mini squat. I love squats. So, and rest. Maybe that's part of the reason too. T push-ups are up next. So down on the floor, wall, knees or toes. Get ready for those T push-ups. In three, two, and hit it. And then we all have the ones that we hate. I must say, these might be my least favorite today. The T push-ups, you know? And then this could be your favorite. So that's what I love about workouts too, is everyone has different moves that they are stronger at. And so for me, it's not push-ups. I'm working on them, but I gotta get those right muscles firing instead of years of protecting a bad shoulder. So maybe it's for you, like leg stuff. Maybe you don't like certain leg stuff. So just, I encourage you to explore why and then see if we can work around it. So just because I hate doing them and rest, side lunge hops are next, doesn't mean I'm not going to. So I know they're good for me. I know I gotta recruit through my right muscles. So I'm gonna keep trying until I get there. So maybe that's your motto for a certain move as well. All right, ready? Side lunge, out to the side, hop it in center. Out to the side, hop center. So again, if you wanna make this a little bit more cardio heavy, this is your move, pick it up, increasing that speed. We have those crunch to the triceps after this. So you get a little time to catch your breath. We're about halfway with this one. And then you'll grab your one dumbbell to the floor. We're doing good. Last 15. Last 10. <laughs> In five, three, two, and a rest. Grabbing your dumbbell, hitting the floor. You got your crunch to the triceps. Finding that spot, arms will stay nice and straight. Extend it out in front of you. In three, two, and one. Laying down, crunching up, triceps overhead. So finishing your workout strong here. We're almost at the end of the circuit. And then we just have a little bit more. Just a little. And I know for next week's workout, because I'm gonna record it right after this, we are just gonna do three rounds of eight moves for 45 and 15. No finisher next week. So I want you to really push yourself strong with this three minute finisher. And with the end of this workout, if you have something left to give, give it. Five seconds, three, two, and rest. Up, down planks to the plank jacks. I'm sure this is probably, definitely a hated move. I don't mind up, down jacks, or up, down planks. I'm not sure why. So in three, two, and one, up, down plank, alternating sides. And then we have those plank jacks. So keeping it strong here. We got that wall sit after this. And then we'll go right into that finisher. And the finisher's only two moves, and they're leg heavy 
body moves. So arms will get a break. So doing what you can here. Core staying strong. We got 15 seconds to go. Making sure you're getting that hand underneath the shoulder. Squeezing the glutes. And rest. Stand on up. Grabbing the dumbbell or dumbbells. Well, sit with that shoulder press. Definitely opening the window for the next workout. In three, two, and hit it. Woo! Say that every time. I'm like, oh, my house is nice. No. <laughs> Once we start working out, every time gets that temperature pretty high. Which isn't a bad thing. Sitting down in that wall sit, pushing through those heels, making sure you're not gripping through your toes. So finish in here, ribs are staying down with that shoulder press. 15 seconds to go. And for our finisher, I'm gonna explain it quick and we'll get into it. We're gonna do 10 alternating reverse lunges, followed by five squat jumps or five squats if you want it low impact and done. So all we're gonna do, alternating reverse lunges. So one, two, three to 10, five squat jumps or just five squats, all right? Three minutes, we're doing that. And then we are done. Ready, set, and let's do it. So alternating reverse lunges for 10. And again, just because it's fast, doesn't mean we have poor form. So don't lose the finisher as like quick, quick, quick flow through the moves. I see that happen a lot. Still keep that nice form. That was 10 for me, five squat jumps or squats, four, five, back to those reverse lunges for 10. So still sit back, work that front glute. You should feel it in that front glute, making sure your knee it doesn't have to touch the floor. It can hover above it, but I want you to get nice and low. We got two more, and then you're back to those squat jumps or squats. Squat jumps or squats for five. Three, two, one, back to it. Reverse lunge. See, and look at that. We are one minute in to the three minutes. So we know how about how many rounds we should be able to get through. If we stay consistent with our timing. So trying not to slow down as we go on. Last one for me, squat jumps for five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Here we go. No, here we go. Here we go. Now, here we go. It's probably all I should sing so I don't get cut off. We're almost there. Woo! Four, three, we got our squat jumps in one, and squat it out. For five, four, three, two, and one. Back to it, here we go, 10. We are almost approaching the final minute. And I usually never stretch you out. I might do a couple times, a couple stretches, but I always encourage Follow, go find a yoga video, quick short yoga video. Most of us know what stretches our body needs. Last one, and squat jumps. So your legs might want a little extra stretch. And last one, reverse lunges. After this one, so open up those quads in whatever way would be best. Sometimes that standing quad stretch. Sometimes if you know it, your leg, knee on the floor, shin up the wall. That one can be intense. If you have knee issues, don't try that. And 10, five squat jumps. But that one's a nice intense quad stretch. Four and five, we got 15 seconds. Let's go, keep it going. Don't stop. Three, four, we're probably gonna be finishing, yep, out with a lunge. And we are, whoo, done, made it through. Great work, everyone. Thank you all so much. Let's close our practice. Arms up above our head, palms together. Bring your thumbs to our third eye, trusting your intuition. 
Hands to your lips, speaking your truth. Hands to heart center, trusting yourself. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And we'll see you all again next week.